Welcome. If you are working with a lot of information and you need to summarize it, group it, or organize it into a clear table, this video is for you. I'll walk you through exactly how to work with large amount of data using instruction based prompt. Plus, I'll show you how to adjust the tone, style, and format to match your goals, whether you are writing articles, email, content, reports, or educational material. This video is especially useful for professionals who want to streamline their work using AI tools. So, let's dive in. Instruction based prompts. Direct instructions are given to the model to perform a specific task or generate a specific type of response. The model follows the instruction without needing examples. Instruction based prompts are ideal for creative tasks, procedural tasks or when you want the model to generate a text in a specific style, tone, or format. Instruction-based prompts are widely used. You give the prompt instruction about what exactly you want, and the model will generate the results. Write a short story about a brave night to small children. So the instruction is to write a short story, and the story should be for small children. Once upon a time, in a sunny kingdom filled with colorful flowers and friendly animals, there lived a brave knight named Cedric, and so on. ChatGPT generated a story about a knight that saved a cat, which is a story suitable for small children. Write a menu for a vegan restaurant. The instruction here is to write a menu specifically for vegan. ChatGPT produces a menu with appetizer, salads, main courses, bowls, desserts, and so on. Explain how to change a tire on a car for non-technician. ChatGPT give us detailed instructions about how to change the tire because we said it's for a non-technician person. So besides the write and explain prompts, we can also ask ChatGPT to categorize things. Categorize the following animals into mammals, reptiles, and birds. Dog, cat, snake, eagle, delphine, lizard. ChatGPT answer is mammals, dog, cat, dolphin, reptiles, snake, lizard, birds, eagle. Another instruction is list. List the top five most popular countries along with their populations in a table format. So we tell ChatGPT not only to list top five populations countries, but also that the format of the output should be a table. Next instruction is a group. Group the following fruits based on the colors. Apple, banana, grape, orange, cherry, kiwi. Now we 
will take an example for instruction-based prompts. Here from World Health Organization, we got some data about malaria disease. We copy this data to ChatGPT. First prompt will be Summarize this text, please, as points. The results, as you can see, we had a long text with a lot of information that's probably hard to read by non-doctor or non-healthcare. Now we got a simpler version of the text with malaria overview, malaria incidence rates. Next instruction will be Categorize your summary based on the year it happened in. Now, instead of the old response, we got our summary grouped in two years. Next instruction is to put the results in a table. Before 2021, year 2021, year 2022. And in the next table column, we can see what happened on these years. Next command is group the results based on vaccination type. As you can see, we had a text from World Health Organization and we arranged it in different formats and different ways. This is helpful if you are writing an article, you want the text to be written some way. If you are writing a report, you want the text to be written in another way. You can group the text in different types. You can categorize the text in different types and so on. In instruction based prompts, you can also specify the style. Would you want it a formal, informal, persuasive, descriptive, and so on? Write a formal letter to the city council requesting more public parks in our neighborhood. So now ChatGPT will write a letter. It will not be an article, it will not be a plain text, it will be in letter format. And the letter will be formal too. The letter ChatGPT wrote also includes recommendations, suggestions, and any other necessary information that ChatGPT thinks it will make the city council consider building more public parks in the neighborhood. In instruction-based prompts, you can also specify the tune. Do you want it friendly, humorous, serious, optimistic, and so on? Write a lighthearted blog post about the joys of having a pet cat. And ChatGPT responds the perfect companion, the joys of having a pet cat. When you give ChatGPT the style of writing or the tune of writing, ChatGPT answer will follow specifically the style or tune you give. If you ask it for a professional text, it will not generate a friendly text. It will strictly generate a professional text. Besides, if you give a format, ChatGPT will stick to your output format, whether it's a letter, a table, or anything else. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss my upcoming AI tutorials. And if you are looking to learn AI or need AI integration services for your business, visit my website www 
www.aiportalen.com to explore my courses and services. See you in the next video.